Hello, everyone. Welcome to this live stream of the Horror on the Orient Express board game sponsored by Chaosium. My name is Paula. One half of the host for this game gets dicey, and the other half is... That's me. Hello. Matthew. Your boy. <laughs> Matthew Jude. Our it's boy. It's you too, Paula. So oh, you got to say right. your boy. What what up YouTube? It's Thank your you. boy and your girl, and we are about to let you watch. Let you watch. That's right. This is the worst intro I've ever done. I think we're gonna get to it. We're playing Horror on the Orient Express board game. We're playing it live on Twitch, and this is an upload after the fact to YouTube. So if you hear us talking with our chat, that's what's happening. Uh, I do have the alerts turned off though, so hopefully you won't be too distracted by those. Is there a link below this video where you could join us for future streams over at twitch.com forward slash Deming? That's right. Wow. You said it right. Well, when it's like, it's official, it's right? I normally say twitch.theinternet forward slash <laughs> your boy, you know, but... Yes. Yeah. Click below if you want to join us live. Also click below if you would like to check out the Kickstarter right now. That is live for Horror on the Horror on the Orient Express board game. Thank you so much to Chaosum for sponsoring this. We're going to get into the game. All right, y'all. Oh, boy. Here's the game. game. I managed to fit it on my table, sort of. So... <laughs> Is this camera literally on the ceiling? <laughs> it's very high up. If I need to adjust anything, I need like a bit of a ladder. So um, here it is. Here's the game. You Some of it's covered up by our faces, but you'll see it because I do have other... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me show you. I do have, if we just go here, uh, we'll be able to see... Oh, cool. Some of those things there. Better. I got, ooh, a little close up. This is very impressive. How Paula. about that one? That's the spell book. And how about, whoop, close up on the back of the train. Very oh, exciting. yeah. You might need to teach me how the spell book works, Paula, because the rules I looked at are different. So, now I'm remembering. Yes. So that's one thing. And we'll talk about this. So uh, this game is currently like being they're still working on it. That's part yeah. of what makes crowdfunding cool. Right. Is you can get feedback and you can witness as different things about the game change. So from the time that this game, this copy of the game with rules was sent to me. Uh, the rules were version 8. But what you see on the Kickstarter page right now, the rules are version 9 something. And the way that the spells uh, work has changed. And I would like to try playing with those new rules because I think it sounds really cool. Honestly, I think it sounds better than the way it was in the version 8 rules that I have. So we're going to try playing with that. Uh, and I will explain that Uh as we go here so that was cool yeah so here we are on the orient express uh we are our two characters matthew will be playing our gunslinger bucky burton and i will be playing our millionaire boy cedric campton is his last name <laughs> campton cedric campton yeah is his name mm -hmm. and he speaks like this hello Oh, I, I, yeah. My father makes so much money. <laughs> um, so we're trading each other's accents, sort of. We're trading versions of each other's accents today. Well, I won't. I'll be doing my own accent, I think. So that's, <laughs> that's good. So we are have been traveling on the Orient Express, and suddenly, while we're on this train journey, some cultists began our ritual that took okay. us into the dreamlands which is i think a bit of a misnomer because it's a bit of a nightmare landscape as you can see here there's like it's horrible that's what this board represents um portals are being open eldritch monsters are coming through y'all we got a vampire here hanging on the side of the um the car you can see his board there and what doesn't the vampire do... start at the other end of the train uh, you know, he starts here on the, in this specific car, 
and the cars get set up randomly. Ah. Oh. So the cars get set Ooh. up randomly uh, with three. Let me actually uh, show you if I can get a better angle on the. Nope. So you can sort of see, it's actually not the best angle, but um, some of the cars have, um, so they have little names here. We have the first class sleeping car, second class sleeping, sanctuary, dining, salon, forgon, forgon. I actually don't know what that is. I was going to look it up and I didn't. Uh, three of them have special abilities you can activate while you're in those cars. Um, Ooh, this is actually a great ability in here. And we can talk about those abilities when we talk more about what we can do on our turn. Uh, but we set those up randomly and then setup tells us what kind of passengers are in each car. Uh, where we start, the suspects start randomly, we'll talk about them in a moment, and the uh, vampire starts in the Forgon, Forgon. Someone in chat, look up what, what the heck that is. Uh, I would love to know. So we are speeding through the dreamlands. We are trying to get us all the way out of the dreamlands, which will happen when our little train mini here comes all the way along the track to this space. Once it's there, we have made our way through the dreamlands, but if we have not by that time figured out which of the suspects on the train are cultists, then we have failed in our mission. We need to figure out who the cultists are and stop them from finishing their ritual that they are doing. So we have six suspects on the train. That's what these uh, boards are. And any number of them could be cultists. We need to talk to them, or we need to talk to the other passengers to get clues about these suspects, uh, to learn about them, to deduce who the cultists are. Uh, so each suspect has a variety of little tiles on them. Uh, they have a ticket somewhere they're going. They have a variety of desires. Some of them only have one desire, like this guy, he has one desire, it's the green tiles. But some of them, like this lady, she got three desires. And this is all randomly set up, so it's, it's variable. Um, and then we have these eyeballs are like things we can notice about them, items they might have on their person. Something you might notice with, say, a spot hidden or a perception style check, right? And based on what we start to reveal about them, we will learn, hopefully, who the cultists are. Because we need to correctly identify everyone as a cultist or a not cultist at the end of the game. If we can't, we lose. It's one of those games where, because it's cooperative, there's like one way to win and like 20 ways to lose. Right. Um, we have monsters that will be spawning at the train. There are five of each type. Three are currently by train cars. If we ever run out of monsters to place, we lose. Oh, the foregone is the luggage car. Thank you, chat. We have a vampire. If he ever kills seven of our passengers, we have seven uh, little coffin things. And when a passenger dies, goes like that on top of the dice. Uh, if we ever run out of coffins to place, we lose. Uh, we have these things. Oh, I need to put some essence on these portals. We have essence. You gonna put an odd number on or like an even number? Uh, I, honestly, I don't remember what I need to have done for starting. Let me look. Because an odd number is fine, but an even number was that's an evanescence. <laughs> oh my gosh, an evanescence. Wake me up! Sorry, no, carry on. Wake uh, me up what? inside. Place three essence on the open portal on the first landscape. Okay. We, are tw we have 27 of these essence tokens in the game. If we ever run out of essence tokens to place... We lose. We lose. It's one of those, right? So there's a lot of things we have to mitigate here in the game. Um, we will be taking actions as our investigators, uh, going around trying to fight off monsters and get to the end of the track and figure out who all these people are before we die, basically. 
before we're stuck in this hellscape. Now at the end of every turn, we are going to be pulling events from the bag, from this bag. Uh, let me, that's a better close up. And we have this event board. Once three of these spots are filled, we resolve every single event on this track. Uh, and we're gonna talk about that when they happen. And when we run out of tokens in this bag, all of the, you know, whatever's in this discard pile, so here's a bunch that will come in later, uh, get added to the bag. And it's, it's mostly bad things. Oh no, I've ruined my stack. It's mostly bad things. Yes, there is an Asterian. He does kind of look like Asterian, doesn't he? That's pretty funny. Yes, and if you lose, you lose. Exactly, chat, exactly. So the last thing we need to do before we actually start playing is we have a couple little setup things we need to do with our characters. Uh, and then I'll say a show like where we're starting. Uh, on the, I don't know why I keep thinking I can put my mouse somewhere that isn't right here on the table. So you can see the passengers, they're dice. They're not dice that you roll. We're just gonna flip them to different sides that show the moods of the passengers. We want to try and get passengers to be happy, the screen face, or at least calm, the gray face. We don't want them to be panicked. That's bad. We don't want them to be insane. We don't want them to be having a total like breakdown because that's bad. This is wounded, that's bad because that means, actually you can't see that very well. That's wounded. That's bad because it means they're gonna die easier. There's angry, the red faces are angry. We want them to be happy or calm if possible. Okay. Are we ready to finish building out our characters and taking turns? Oh yeah. Awesome, and I will, as we go through the specifics of everything, We'll talk about what it all is. Otherwise, it's too much of an info dump right at the start. Um, yeah, the board is very cool. Uh, McMouse and chat. These, like, train pieces, they're they're very cool. Um, and at least in my prototype copy, they came pre-assembled, which is awesome. And these curtains move. So you can close the windows or open the windows, which is you want closed windows to protect you from monsters. But open windows make the vampire weaker because sunlight, you know what I'm saying? And then the speed on the train can change. There's a little speed dial here, which you'll see when I do a side angle. Um, and that doesn't have to do with how quickly we move down the track, but it does have to do with the force we can push monsters off the train. With. And if the train's ever put down to zero, we lose. We lose. That's true. That is the last losing condition, I think, that I did not mention. Very good. Um, okay, so we need to first choose an attribute for our characters. Let me just do a little, that's not it. I want that one, a little bit closer on our characters here. So we have all these attribute tiles and what we're gonna do is we are supposed to pick six and then from those six, we are gonna choose what attribute we want our character to have. So I'm just going to randomly set out um, six and they all come with like a special thing uh, on the back. Okay, so we have gifted, cheerful, vigorous, witchy, vigorous, lucky, and educated. Matthew, I think a vigorous gunslinger makes sense. Oh my gosh, that's actually really great. So what you get if you're vigorous is you can remove your stamina limit, which means instead of only having seven, you can ever go up to, you could get yourself up to nine, which is pretty great. So remove your stamina limit, take that out. And then you upgrade your rest to the quality rest. Oh, cool. So resting is how we get our stamina back. It's how we upgrade our skills. It's great. So now your quality rest is, um, you can restore six stamina instead of five. That's basically it. You get six back instead of five. Everything else is the same. Makes sense to me. All right, so Matthew is the vigorous guns, Bucky Burton, the vigorous retired gunslinger. I will be, I kind of feel like, should the millionaire boy be lucky or should he be educated? Um, 
We can also look at the abilities before we decide. Nah, just pick one at random. Let's be... I mean, he is lucky that he was born to a rich father, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's say educated, because I think that could be interesting. Upgrade one of your profession skills. I get to just start with an upgraded skill? I'm That's good. pumped about that. So... I'm going to take my skills here. This is the only see. good thing that's going to happen to us throughout this whole playthrough. This is, is it, my yeah. Ooh, I want something that has given, that gives us the ability to talk better to people. I have Salon Gambit. Which is my talk. What's your talk of action? Um, I have let the money speak, but uh, they get mad at me no matter what happens. Oh, let's upgrade that one then. Oh, yeah. Does it? Oh, you know what? You're right. Because now instead of getting mad at me no matter what happens, they just are calm no matter what happens. Yeah. Actually, I like that. That's a good idea. Okay, so I will upgrade let the money speak. Okay, then we need to pick our lucid skill. So this is something we get to do when we rest. We could do this, um, we can use this skill. So we're gonna set out again, six, and choose what we want. Okay. This is something you'll only have access to doing when you're choosing to rest. So we can remove one monster from the limbo. That's pretty good because the limbo is where they go temporarily and then they will come back at the end of the round. Um, send one passenger from, my, from our train car to a chosen train car. Gather one suspect from anywhere to, my, to your train car, which could be a good way to use their... Uh, because they each have little powers that we get to use. You can push a monster. We can, uh, ooh, we can change any insane passenger from insane to wounded, or move one essence from one portal to another. I think the, I think I'll take the banisher monster. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Okay, remove one monster from limbo, and I think I will, You know what? I think there'll be some good synergy here because I have this uh, ability called Help from Papa. Remove one essence from a chosen portal. If this portal is on a past landscape, remove one additional essence from this portal. So I could try and set myself up to move essence to a past portal and then be able to move, remove. Yeah. Um, so let's try that. Okay, that's my lucid skill. Okay, last thing is we get a general skill the so same thing we'll pick six and we'll each choose one so this is just something general that we can do that is different from our profession skills okay okay for your general skill would you like first aid spot hidden intimidate disguise cthulhu mythos or brawl Brawl. I can't read what they do, so yeah, I'll just take brawl. I think this looks good. You may spend up to six stamina. For each stamina you spend, you can move that monster an extra car back. So I'll send you an updated cool. photo. Um, so there can be heal. I like spot hidden. I just feel like we're, we need things to help us figure this stuff out. Because if we get to the end, oh, if we get to the end of the line and we don't know who the cultists are, we lose. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take spot hidden because it's gonna let us. It lets me reveal a chosen feature of a suspect in my car. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. If you start raving, you get free glow sticks. Says no soul, no prob in chat. Exactly. Okay. The last thing we need to do is uh, with our suspects. So let's come over there. I'm gonna go to this camera. There we are. Okay, 
So you can see we have uh, some second class ticketed suspects and some first class ticketed suspects. Uh, we need to reveal the desire, a single desire, a green tile from any two uh, suspects because that's just going to get us started with some information and some uh, quests to go on. So uh, Zumherger in chat is asking, asking, is there any dice rolling in this game? There is not. It's all pulling tokens out of bags. So what do you think, Matthew? We've got a chef, we've got a medium, we've got a psychologist, we've got a maestra. Are these desires we're pulling? Yes, we have a... Let's pull the desires from the two characters that only have one desire each. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Because that might help with the deduction portion of the game. I think game. that's really smart. So, old Sly Boots here. We're going to see what his desire is. And it is this. So now we go to this deck. This quest deck, and we find this symbol in here. So here we go. Now you don't look at the back side of it because the back side is going to have all kinds of information that we don't we don't want to see right now. So his desire is he desires to be in a car with at least five passengers. So if we do that then we get to flip this over and if he's not a cultist something good can happen for us if he is a cultist something bad happens for us so we're just going to put that right there so we can remember all right and then um she looks like Ju julia louis dreyfus to me uh she's a crime book writer her desire is <gasps> she wants two occult tokens and i'll talk about how we actually figure out what makes someone a cultist, um, and then we can start taking turns. So let me find this quest card. There's one item that they can be carrying. One of them is carrying an item, which is the red fez mm -hmm. thing, which means that they are definitely a cultist, right? Guaranteed. Yes. Guaranteed. The rest of them mm -hmm. are, they have to, there's like a deduction kind of thing where if they have the purple background of the tokens denotes that they're occultist things, essentially. If they have four or more of those, then they're occultist. And the other way to do it is if they are going to Constantinople with a certain item and without something else, which Paula will show you on the deduction uh, yeah. uh, pad. Uh, so there's three yes. ways to know. So there could only be one. There definitely is one, but there could be as many as five out of the six, I think. Yes, yeah, I think you're right. I think it is up to five. Um, so, number one, like Matthew said, if they have the blood red fez, they are a cultist. Number two, if they are going to Constantinople and have this occult item goblet, but they don't have an elder sign, they are a cultist. If they have an elder sign, that means that they're like an investigator like us, and they have these things with protection to try and get rid of them, right? And then yes, like Matthew said, if they have four purple background items, they are a cultist. We have so they this. could have an elder sign and three other purple backgrounds and be a cultist. Yes. Um, so we have this that we can mark off as we find things so we know like what's left. Because some of these items are only, like the blood red fez is only these blue tiles. So like we can start to kind of like figure out because there's no way we're going to be able to flip everything. All right. So this passenger, our crime writer, desires to have two uh two occult tokens so if... yeah she wants two occult tokens we have to give them to her uh yeah that's actually like do we have to I discard to... two occult tokens to that person to satisfy them or do so. we just have yes. to have two let me do a quick let me see if i can do a quick rules check i think we discard them that's um, huge if you have to discard them because yeah. something that's going to be happening each time as we do these actions at the end of each person's round is that the ritual could kick off. Mm. Uh, and when the ritual kicks off, it's we can negate the effects of the ritual with those occult tokens, which we can with those occult tokens that we're grabbing. Uh, but um, so we don't want we want to keep hold of them if we can. Let's see. I don't see any specific. Um, any specific uh, notes on that? Um, so I think I let's think assume we have that to we have to discard. Yeah, so we'll too. assume we have, have to discard them. them. Yeah. 
Um, Dear Lex in chat says, how do you know how many cultists there are? We don't. We don't. There's up to five yeah. after the six. That's how you, yeah, yeah. That's all we know so far at the start. All right. There's guaranteed one, possibly five, but not six. Okay. Uh, based on that, I think we are ready to go, and I can take my turn first um, to start going over what all the things are. Before we do that, though, I do need to pause and use the restroom very quickly. All right, we're back. I realized I didn't really have a proper pause screen, I don't think so. I just went back to our waiting to start screen. Uh, Veer Lex asks, so you never know if you've won until the end of the game. Yeah, I think that is correct. Okay. Well, you could reveal enough, couldn't you, to know that you've, you've won. I right? think so, you could yes. have You could have ruled it out. Yeah. Because you could have ruled it out that way, but you still have to get to the end of the track, so... Yeah. Okay. So. Let's start. So on our turn, we get to do one main action, two basic actions. Our main actions are our tiles, and here our basic actions are listed here we can move up to two cars we can use a random an item that we have which we don't have any items yet but if one of us gains an item they are shared by the whole team uh, we can open or close the curtains in the cars we can use the action on one of the cars we have uh, we can gather someone to us so gathering means we take uh, someone who is adjacent and bring them to us um, we can move, so in the dining car, I know y'all can't see these right now, but um, in the dining car, we can move a uh, one of our little action tokens, which is pretty great, because if I've already done my, if, uh, if, if sorry, wow, if Matthew has already done the Salon Gambit, um, then he might want to do it again. So this ability would let him move this, so he's like, well, I'm not going to use Brawl right now. And then he could place another thing on Salon Gambit on his next turn, right? Um, because he's not going to be able to remove these action markers until he rests. So you can't repeat actions until he rests. I'm still here. Don't worry. <laughs> I can't explain what's happened. Uh, no soul, no prob. I mean, yeah, that'd be cool says, do you need a be right back screen? We can make that happen. I'm into it. No soul, no problem. It's great stuff. Um, okay. And then in our luggage car, um, says, if there are no suspects in the car, you can reveal somebody's uh, ticket uh, clue, which is pretty awesome. I think... I don't breathe. <laughs> Oh. All right. I keep on like holding my mouse as though I'm playing this on Tabletop Simulator. Like I can like interact can with the board in any way, shape, or form. If you want to try this yourself on the Kickstarter page, there is a link to a Tabletop Simulator mod which you can uh, you can play around with. Um, okay, you can spend. We can spend a uh, an uh, um, sorry everyone an occult token to learn a spell. Uh, and that uh, involves removing a spell from our spellbook slot. Uh, sorry, removing a tile from our spellbook slot. Let me... Over here. So in the first slot, you only need to remove one, and then we can learn a spell that will go in there. Two from here, and then you can put a spell in there. They're drawn randomly from the spell deck. Two from here, and once that's empty, you can put a spell there. And uh, then you can prepare the spell by taking uh, one of these tiles that we have, one of these tokens, and putting it in our event bag where it cooks in there until we pull it out. Once it's pulled out, it can be put on a spell and the spell can be activated. Spells are wildly powerful. They're cool. They're very cool. Uh, we can also, uh, as a basic action, interact with a suspect. They all have little powers. Uh, so our chef has refresh all stamina and gain sanity. Uh, our medium has remove one essence from a chosen portal. Our psychologist says uh, you can move him to a chosen car, and then you can make any passenger in that car calm. Uh, our maestro can move any two passengers to a chosen car. Our slab boots can Seamus 
He can move to a chosen car and then push a monster uh, plus one uh, off the train. And our crime book writer can go to a chosen car and reveal the clue of a suspect in that car. Now, once you've used that favor, that ability, it flips over. And you can't use it again unless you get another favor back. So. And then we have our own special uh, basic actions. I can send a calmer, happy passenger to a chosen car, and Matthew can banish one monster. Now, all of these, they have a little lightning bolt symbol because they cost one stamina to use. So, you can do two of those. You can do a main action. An arrest is a main action, and you can still do basic actions when you rest. Uh, and that's how you get all your stuff back. So, let's see. I think... For my main action, we have monsters, we have a vampire, we've got stuff. I think the first thing to do is just start talking to people, right? Yeah. Uh, so where am I? I started in first class sleeping car because that's where my uh, my character starts. It says on the back of this. Uh, that makes sense. Deal here. Let me just go to. So I'm here with this lovely cane. Uh, I think I should talk. You know what? I'm going to talk. I'm going to let the money speak. I'm going to talk five with a happy... Ooh, they either have to be happy or panicked. So I can't do yeah, that. Yeah, you got to call more that. anger. So I'm going to have to move. Okay, so I'm going to do a basic action, and I'm going to move up to two. So that's going to cost me one stamina. And then I'm going to move, because they're calm and angry, I can't talk to them. So I'm going to move into this second class sleeping car where I can talk to this happy person. Because uh, on my thing here, talk five with happy or panicked. I will ignore any um, panicked partial successes, which I'll explain in a moment. So I take my little conversation bag. So the way this works is talk five, I'm going to pull five tokens from here. One, two, oh, those are bad. Three, four, I have the worst luck. Five, okay, so. Wow, that's bad. That's a pretty bad start. Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna pull out tokens. These are full successes and these are uh, not, basically, they're failures. So you want to pull matches of your full successes. So I get to talk five, I pull out five, I put back into the bag anything that's a half and half, a split. And now I just start pushing my luck and I start pulling tokens, hoping to get a match. If I get- and The more of those full ones you get this in your first draw, the better, right? Yeah, yes, because you have more chances to match something. Okay. All right, that is not great. So if I pull another one that has, so this is a reward, the one, the symbol in the white, if I get a match. But if I don't get a match, this is the punishment. So basically I will make the uh, passenger I'm talking to angry. But this punishment happens if I pull that same punishment. So if I get another partial with this angry passenger face, I fail the conversation, I gain nothing, and I've made the passenger mad. Come on, I'm so bad at this. Why do I have bad luck, Matthew? We're never gonna be able to talk to anyone. We're gonna lose so quick, I think. Okay, that's a success. I just need one match. I need a ticket, I need a first class passenger, or I need a second class passenger. Oh my gosh. We might as well go. <laughs> You might as well push until you find a match. <gasps> okay. I can find out something about a first class passenger. Should I keep going or should I stop? Let's stop here because let's be real. <laughs> okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I can choose one of the rewards. Do we want to get an occult token or do we want to take an item? 
alt token? I think so too, because then we can free up a spell slot um, on in our book. So I'm going to take this off. We get this token. So I'm just going to put that here. This is kind of our. And we area. want two of those possibly for that quest, right? So yeah. that's, that's, you know. Then when the space is revealed, we get to just put a uh, spell there. So we get a choose a suspect in your car, reveal one desire of that suspect. So if we prepare that spell and then it gets prepared, we can activate it and do that, which is cool. Okay, so I chose one reward from here. Now I get to reveal a token, a clue token, from any first class passenger. That's what these mean. So how many different tokens are there in this bag? There's a, I think there's three of every success and then and two, two of, every, of failure. every punishment, yeah. So our first class passengers, Matthew, are, we already, uh, they're our crime book writer, our uh, Seamus Slyboot, the two we already have information on, and our Maestra. So do we want to reveal something Could about... Re reveal more about the one with the quest for the cult you tokens? Because yeah. I don't want to give those up and then, then be a, a cultist, like a, a cultist, yeah. right? So Should we reveal her train ticket? Yeah, whatever. Because then we'll know... Um... Well, that won't be definitive, right? Not necessarily, no. But if but it's to Constantinople, I mean, that's certainly a sign. And if it's not to Constantinople, we'll, we'll, we're safer, probably. Would you rather yeah. do a... Um... No, do it. Let's not... Let's just go for it. Okay. She's going to Belgrade. Okay. So, so she isn't a cultist, then? Well, she does have two purple backgrounds. True. So that's bad. two other purple backgrounds, and she is a cultist, even though she's not going to Constantinople. So, it's, it's still possible. Uh, I don't believe okay. things can get added to the conversation bag. That is a uh, question in chat. I think it, it starts as it starts, I think. There is a wild, actually, one that you get with a specific um, uh, uh, attribute. There's lots of you're... items and cards and bits and pieces that change things as the yeah. game goes along. So, but we haven't, I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know what they are, right, so. Okay, then, oh, did I ignore? Yeah, the, the panicked one didn't come out. So, this passenger becomes calm. So they're not thrilled, they're not happy anymore, they are now calm. Okay, so I've done one basic action. Let the money speak. Do I want to do another action? I think Open no. the windows? Well, we're way up in the front of the car, uh, the train. So the oh, monsters no, and the um, vampire mm. aren't going to come up to us yet. I think I might wait and hold on to the stamina um, for now. So I don't think I'm going to okay. use that extra basic action. So now we pull out an event token. Yeah. All right. So, oh, so this means the train speeds up and we pull another token. So the train now goes to speed two. Uh, so right here, this little, this rotates. Oh no, that's a zero, other direction to speed two. And that doesn't affect how we move along the track. It affects the momentum a monster has when you push it. Um, okay, so now I pull another token. Oh, this is a good thing. So this is, you do this immediately and then we don't reveal any other token. So this lets us reveal a clue. Great. So do we want to just go on and reveal another clue from the crime writer and start narrowing yeah. down whether or not she's got four purple? Do it. Let's do, we'll just do the, the blue one that's here on the top row. Oh my gosh. She has an elder sign, but she has three purple. So one more purple item. Oh, and she's, she's a cultist. A cultist. She's a cultist. She's got to sure. be, right? Probably. We don't know for sure, but she probably is. All right. Did you move the train forward one? Uh, now the train moves forward, yes, because, so that moves forward, one. Okay. Which room am I in? You, Matthew, are in the salon right here with 
two angry passengers, okay. two happy, a calm, and you've got the medium in there with you. Um. Can't you just push everyone off the train just in case? I don't think that is the best idea, Camelot right. in chat. I'm going to move one back. Mm hmm. So that's a stamina. And you're going to the luggage car in the back where the vampire and the monster is. Yep. Mm hmm. I'm then going to uh, Bounty Hunt. Okay, so that is this main action. So, in a car with exactly one monster, push plus zero. So that means it will push the speed of the train to with nothing added to it. And that will... Oh, I could have stayed where I was actually and done that because we're moving two, aren't we? Yeah, either one. Would you have rather done I'll that? stay where I am. I'll stay where I am to save okay. the action first. So yeah, I'll stay right. where I am. So Maybe I won't. Back. Yeah, and I'll push. I'll, yeah, I'll bounty, bounty hunt. There's one monster, so it should because it's traveling at two speed. It should go back to two spots, which means it'll go off into limbo. The train. I love that. It actually just pushes. Uh, oh, that one. That goes forever. Goes yeah, it goes back to yeah, the thing. It's gone. It's when I banish something from a window, right? That's exactly. when it goes into limbo. Mm -hmm. So, if this monster falls behind, which it did, remove one essence from a portal of its color. Oh, we don't have any right now. We don't have any portals of its color with essence on it, because this one just always is there. Um, but that no would regardless. be good later. Yeah, but that's great. We've gotten rid of a monster, which is really good. Uh, so, that's your main action. And then for my secondary action, I'm going to move back and then banish one. Oh, awesome. Okay, so then... You'll move to the luggage car and use your stamina for your special action to banish this monster. So this monster will go into limbo. So it won't attack when the events happen, but will come back. It's going to come right after. back, essentially, yeah. but it's gone for now. That's awesome. I think that was a great turn. Sweet. That's what okay. you're done. So then we pull an event token. Chad says, is there a rule against pushing everyone off the train? I don't think there's a rule against it. You do push the cultists off when you, uh, you can find push out them off, they... yeah. When you find out they're cultists, you can boot them off, yeah. Yeah, and you get good stuff when you do that. Okay, we have... Okay, so this will be a passenger event when that happens, and it has little dots on it. They are three dots, so it goes in the third spot here. So it will go right there. Okay. Now uh, the train moves, and it's me again. So let's see here. I am in the second class sleeping car. I like the idea of you doing the detective work and I'm going to do the fighting work. I like it too, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good team, I think. Um... Well, I can't do bounty hunt again until we... Uh... I want to move... Yeah, until I rest. Okay, I am going to uh, move up to two. I'm going to spend a stamina to move up to two, and I'm going to come into the dining car. I'm going to go... Hmm. See if I can get y'all a fun view of this. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go one, two, into the dining car. Uh, because I'm now with a happy and a calm passenger, and I'm going to use my ability, um, freshest buzz. Oh no, it can only happen in the salon. <sighs> it's a buzz, because you're getting a haircut in a salon. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't I feel think like that's the salon right. is like, it's not like a salon, it's no, like I, a I know. hangout sure. area, but it is funny that that's like... <laughs> So I would actually need to spend another stamina to do another move, which I think will be worth it, to move one more. Uh, so those are my two basic actions. I've moved twice to get into the salon. This is actually a bit better. So with this power, uh, I can draw a conversation token for each calm or happy passenger in this car. There are three. I will ignore tokens that are not successes. And for each unique success, I will reveal one clue of that type. That sounds really good. I think that's a great power, and hopefully my... Uh, since I pulled a bunch of unique successes last time, 
Now, hopefully, I'll just do that again. I don't think that's... Yeah, that's how it works. So we're going to pull three, and hopefully they're all unique successes. Guaranteed no. they're not. Ooh. Okay, I only got one. But we still get to do one. Um, so it's a second class. So we can choose a second class person and reveal uh, one of their things. So... Which is the feather oh, blue item? You know what? I'm so sorry. There's something I forgot in setup. The people whose desires we revealed at the beginning, we're supposed to flip them over. We can't use their their favors. ability. Yeah. I apologize for not doing that before, but I've I've done it now. Uh, so the blood red fez is a blue token. It's like an a uh, thing you can notice about them. So maybe we okay. flip a blue. It's a pretty blue token somewhere. Up, like pretty overt, right? Yeah. Uh, how about we flip the, this blue, uh, token for the chef de cuisine. He's a second class passenger. Let's do it. All right. He has a hidden weapon. Which is not purple. Uh, I love that he has a knife hidden weapon and he's the chef. That's pretty great. And actually I want to, uh, it, it, it works really well for him. Is that an interactable? one or uh, is it just that a... is not an interactable one so some of these y'all we can interact with which is very cool something we can we ask them about yeah. the items they've got and we can get bonuses um. and stuff for that cool knife and knife uh so i've done that that's my turn so i will move all this stuff out of the way so i can use my mouse uh i will pull an event token Okay, this is a portal with text, which is like this, uh, which goes in slot one. So one more un uh, event. Uh, so likely after Matthew's turn, we're gonna have to deal with events, but possibly not, because if we pull a one or a three, they'll just stack on top and it won't trigger yet, so. Yeah. And then the train moves forward one. Oh, now we are in a new landscape. So we have to More reveal. portals to deal with. So this tile will reveal. On reveal, swap this landscape with the previous landscape. Add one essence to each portal there. That won't... You could move... Yeah, you can't do that. So that's good. Yeah, so I don't think we can, actually. I think so that's a quiet night that was... type of card. Yeah, I think we got very lucky with that because if that was here... We'd swap these and then put more more essence on it, but we can't do it. So, excellent. I'm pretty happy about that, and we're just gonna say that's good for us. Okay. Sweet. Great. Um. All right, Matthew. What would you like to do? Am I in car one? You are all the way at the back. Yes. You're right. And I, uh, I'd like to do a salon gambit. Mm-hmm. Uh, which doesn't say I have to be in the salon. It's just called salon gambit. Yeah. Uh, it's t it's a talk three, and I can talk with an angry person. There is an angry person yes. there, so I'll do a talk three with that angry person. Okay. There is an extra thing for um, when I succeed or fail, but we'll deal with that in a yeah. second. Uh, oh, wait, that's events, not conversation. Okay, so talk three, we'll pull three. Come on. I'm sorry, Matthew. Okay, so you have a desire. These will go back. And you tell That's me- That's so bad. I'm terrible at this. I have watched so... other playthroughs and yeah. everyone else just pulls matches. And even in my practice game of this, y'all, I just failed conversation after conversation, which is why I took all the abilities that let me do conversation stuff. Because I was like, my luck is so bad. Yeah, well, let's, let's go. Okay. All right, that's a ticket. Okay. That's something bad. Okay. That's something bad, but not a match. I'm going to push my luck until we get a match, so okay. keep on going. I mean, you might as well, right? I'm just like, we've got to do it. First ticket. Come okay. on. I think statistically we should get a match, right? Okay, something bad, but not a match. 
Statistically, yes, we should get a match. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so we have one of everything. We just Push. need to get a match. Well, there's Come no on. second class. Come yeah. on. Oh yeah, you're right. But not a match yet. Oh my gosh, this is stressing me out. Come. Hey, a ticket. Do you want to keep going or do you want to stop? One more. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Stop, Paul. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this is so... With four bad ones out, it would be insane to carry on. <laughs> Let's just see what would have happened. Oh, we would have. We would have gotten it. Yeah, okay. I yeah I don't count what would have happened. No, that was such a risk. Um, okay, so what were you get one reward in a cult token, a favor? We could we could refresh a favor. I'll take uh, an item, please. Or an item. Okay, so item card. You have the fiddle of Eric Zahn. Gather so we can use this as a basic action. Either one of us. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, chat says we're showing off the tokens. That's exactly. Um, gather any number of suspects, passengers, or investigators from anywhere to your car. That's pretty good. If we're like, we need a specific subset of people in our car to be able to do an yeah. action, we've got that. So either one of us can use that. So I'm going to put that down here. That's very cool. Okay. Cool. So now we get to look at anyone's ticket. Whose ticket would you like to look at, sir? Uh, chef. Okay. Let's look at the chef. He is going to Constantinople. So that's a sign so he could, could be a cultist. Yeah. If um, they're not going to Constantinople, they can't be a cultist, right? Um, if they have the blood red fez, they could be. Yeah, fair enough. And if they have four purple that aren't Constantinople, they could be. Well, they can't be a cultist before purple because they've got only three tiles left. Oh, you're right. So. So they have to have the blood red fez, otherwise then. They are only a cultist if they have the blood red fez or this, uh, like, uh, artifact. If they have the goblet, then they are also then they could be one. Because if they have the goblet and they're going to Constantinople, then they're a cultist. So we can rule them out next turn, right? Next time we do something, we can rule them out by looking at what their last item is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And let's see, that is... So the goblet is a desire. But if they have an elder sign, yeah. Or ugh, we technically need to see their desire and their last item, probably. Okay, whatever then. Let's just carry on. Yeah. Uh, cool. So okay. I've done my main action. Um, I would like to do... Uh, there's nothing outside my window. I'm going to move up one and then banish. Oh, no, I can't oh, move up one. Oh, you're back here, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. you can move up to two, so you can use one move to go Yeah, I'll cars. move up two one, and then two. banish them. Oh, this is so good. I love the banishing that you're doing. Then one more stamina, so you're down to three to banish this monster. So no monsters are going to attack us when the event It just occurs. means that... Because they're going to activate, right? So they're yeah. all going to come back, but we don't have to, the, the bad things that they do is bad, right? So, yeah, that's yeah. really awesome. You, that's so good. Okay, uh, then the train moves forward, and we pull an event. So this will probably trigger our event board, but let's see what happens. Oh, it is an instant, and we don't need to pull another token after this. This is another good thing. So we had two good things I put in the in the bag, two helpful things. So this is actually really great. So we can take any angry or panicked passenger and make them calm. Okay, let's... I'll leave that to you then. Just pick one. I think we should... I think panicked is... Well, the anger might be worse than panic, right? But panic spreads if that action... What's the effect of the ritual this time, by the way? Oh, if the ritual happens... Oh, I didn't... Very good call, because I have not flipped over the card. So if the ritual pops off, you will activate a monster, and then activate another monster for every two ritual power points, uh, which we don't have any at the moment. And then a That's panicked great. Uh, person would become insane. Well, let's t turn the panicked person that we have then into calm. I think so too, because also if the um, it will protect them 
it'll be a little less bad for us if the vampire attacks. Um, yeah. If they are calm to start with. So the panicked person is going to become calm. Awesome. Okay. Uh, now it's me. I can't believe we've been very lucky with avoiding the bad Move stuff. The but I did do. I did. Okay. Uh, I did it out in a weird order. Thank you for uh, keeping on top of that, though. Uh, all right. So. Hmm. We don't have any monsters. I'm going to spot hidden. Okay. Which will let me reveal a chosen attribute of a suspect in my car. So I want to get in the car with the chef. The chef is all the way at the back. And I am here in the salon. So I will spend a stamina to move. Boop. Then I'm going to spin, do my main action of spot hidden. So I'm going to reveal the chosen, uh, something I notice of the chef. So we're going to see this now. <gasps> Matthew. He has that the blood son of a gun. He is uh, a cultist. He's the cult leader, no less. Cultist. Okay, so now we read something because this has a little exclamation point on it. Um, so, as you can see, so now we read about the Blood Red Fez. So, I'm going to find it. In we our can kick him off the train, though, right? That's something we can literally physically do. Yes. What is happening to my camera? I, have, yeah. I would apologize, but it's literally out to my controls. I mean, what, what can you do, right? Bokir, there's something specific about this Fez. That is culty. Not every fez is culty, but in this instance, this specific fez is, and I think we're gonna find out why from this. Yeah, I don't think card. it's he's wearing a fez and going to Turkey get yeah. him, because that would be a lot of people. It's a specific blood red. Yeah, fez. there's something about it. Uh, it's magical. Not all trains have monsters. Yeah. So this says, the moment you learn about the Fez, a, gra a gravely, not gravelly, a gravely timed realization dawns on you. Catching the leader red-handed, red-hatted, is a great feat of detective work, but knowledge is just the first step. Now is the time to act on it. I think we had probably learned at some point that the leader of this cult wore this Fez, or had this particular Fez, yeah. Choose one option. Publicly get rid of the Fez wearer, sending a direct message of violence, or quietly keep an eye on them, intending to reduce the possible harm. Wait, what should we do? Kill him. All right, Matthew says publicly get rid of the Fez wearer. Sending I think that if you wait for him, he can do things that are negative. This Ooh, reduces high, yeah. that risk. All right, so we read a story card one. Well, what do you want to do? I think that's fine. I'm happy to, um, let's go for it. Let's kick him off the train and see what happens. I am very happy to do that. Okay. So then we find story card one. Uh... Well, maybe it's just one of these. So there's yeah, you only two, pick, so we just You pick only one. pick one. You only pick one, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Matthew. All right. Uh, left or right? One is good and one is bad. <laughs> I don't know which is which. Yeah, I'm not picking. You pick. All right, I'll pick right. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, okay. I think this is okay. Because there is a good one and a bad one, right? Yeah. The swift action leaves almost no trace. So if we had picked the other uh, story one card instead, we would have been seen doing it, and it, it looks like it would have been very different. As the cultist dies, the fez pops off. You are somehow tempted to check if it would fit on your head. Don't do it. It fits perfectly. So much so that you cannot take it off. Oh, great. Now you're off. Or will not? Oh no! This is the bad one. I thought the other one was bad. No, it says this is the bad. Sees you. This is the bad one. Oh, you're wearing a cursed right. hat. Right. I thought this one was because the other passengers see you. I assumed this is the bad one. Sorry, everyone. I didn't realize. This is the bad one. 
We would remove a token from the ritual, but we don't have any yet. Move yourself to the train car with Fez owning, uh, I'm already there. Reveal all clues of that person. So now we can, oh, they also had two goblets. Holy cow. Well, that's interesting though, because that that's takes away goblets. two. So no one else can have no a goblet. No one else that's has actually, a goblet. So that actually tells us about, a, that could tell us a lot of information. Yes. Yes, it can. Um, that means no one can be a cultist just for having a Constantinople ticket and a goblet. That is impossible. Yeah. Which is one full way of knowing, right? Yeah. So the only way to be a cultist in this scenario moving forward is having four yeah. purple background tiles. Having four tiles. purple background tiles. That's really good to know. Which uh, means we can probably narrow this down very quickly by just looking at picking until we have three yeah. revealed on each until character. Until we know, right? yeah, how much could be left. Oh, gosh. So now I place a blood red fez on my portrait. Y'all, I don't want it. I'm gonna have to kill you. This is so freaking Cthulhu. Add the uh, token S00 to the discard. Oh, man. I bet when you draw that token, Paula, something bad happens. I bet. Maybe you can get it off me. I'll get it off you. Oh. I'm gonna cut your head off and throw you out of a door. Uh, hi, Bantator. Um, congratulations on your new job. Yes, congratulations. Oh, sorry. I said S00, right? To the... Shoot. Sorry, everyone. What was it? Yes, 00 to the discard. Oh, uh, boy, y'all. Well, I thought I pulled the good thing, because I thought I wouldn't want anyone to notice, but actually it would have been better if they'd noticed. Yeah, this become now it's a hidden trader game, <laughs> except it's not so hidden. It's not a hidden trader game. I'm going to kill you. Uh, I'm going to come to your cast and shoot you in the brains. Cool. With love. Then, yeah, I think for my last action... I mean, Congrats. we would have had this conversation beforehand, right? We would have had this conversation. We just said... If one of us gets possessed, the other one shoots us. Yeah. Can you rest as a... Isn't resting a main action? Oh, you're right. It is a main action, and I did So you can't action. rest. I will... Oof. Should I just push him? He's gone, right? We yeah, he's him. off the train. So then... He's gone. He's off the tree. Now, there are no... I'm going to use the um, ability in the um, of this train car as my last basic action. I believe I can do that. Let me... Yeah, you can. Uh, see if I can get you a better view of it. Mm, sort of. So here, it's if there are no suspects, I can reveal a ticket. Uh, and so That's I'm good. going to spend a stamina. So next turn, I think I'll be resting. Um to use the car action. So, we have... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. But maybe we do... Um, Best to narrow people off, right, then? we Because we know... Um, we're not looking for the face now, so we should just narrow people down. Yeah, right? I think we should flip the ticket for the guy we have a quest for. It's because we could, if we are feeling... Oh, so we can use their ability. Yeah. So we can, like, try and maybe get a good thing from the quest if we think that uh, he's not a cultist. Um, so I'm going to flip the ticket for old Sly Boots here. He is going to Constantinople. I like it. He reminds me of Miles O'Brien. <laughs> I'm actually going to mark some things off on this real quick. So we know there is... We have revealed all but two of the purple desires, which are spell books. We revealed a brown Constantinople. Is that how you hold a pen? Let's not get into this right now. Yes. Uh, I disagree. So I have but... always held my pencils weird. I, I disagree That's why with I have the a way you're doing that. On my ring finger. Cool. Uh, yeah. It is. It is weird. A purple Constantinople. That's the only purple Constantinople. There's only one other Constantinople ticket, so that's good. Um, 
And then there is, so there's two other elder signs out there. Okay, just doing some, just marking off some info. Some info. All right. So once um, we know, we want to race as quick as possible to the end of the end of the route, end of the line. Yeah, I feel like we're figuring stuff out. We're gonna have to survive till we get to the to the end. It's it's rounds, yeah. Um, but we'll be able to just like mitigate bad things, I think, um, as we go. All right. Uh, I think that's my whole thing. I've done all my stuff, so I'm gonna pull out an event token. We'll probably have an event happen. Oh yeah. Okay. So the oh, oh no, this yeah. is another instant, <laughs> and we <laughs> don't pull another. I can't believe this is crazy. So now this means that we put this little hand symbol it means we put um, resolve the visible incantation, which is this spell. Uh, uh, investigators may spend any number of occult tokens. For each occult token spent, reduce the ritual power. For this incantation by one. The ritual power is equal to the number of tokens here. There are none. Plus the number of insane passengers on the Orient Express. We have two insane passengers. So it's uh, power two. Yeah. Which means we will activate a monster portal. So all those monsters are going to come out. Then we activate another monster portal. We, we only have one for every two ritual power points and then panicked people become insane. So one panicked person will become insane and we will get monsters out. Cool. So that just happens and then that goes away. Blah. Okay, so all these, all this beautiful work you've done well, that's the it's whole point good. of what I'm doing, yeah. right? Is trying to get rid of them. It's just mitigating how bad it can be. Um, and then a green one goes here because they spawn. Well, this is very bad, actually, Paula. It's not This great. is like having a big monster spawn without having the big monster spawn. So this is actually terrible for us. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, I'm reading this wrong. It's not activate a monster portal. It's activate a monster. And we don't have any monsters out because you got rid of them. So actually... This is great for us. Nothing happens. What a turn of events. Because this is just the monster symbol, not the monster portal symbol. Oh, baby. Now we're thinking with portals. <laughs> so you've done a great job. We Nothing happens. Okay, except for this panicked person becomes insane. Ah, well. Well, you know. All right, and that goes to the bottom, and we'll flip over a new thing. So the next time, uh, monsters will spawn from Limbo the next time that goes off. Oh, okay. so that means all our banished monsters will be coming back. The Which, banished uh, we don't one, want... yeah, we'll come back um, after we resolve all the events, Chad is asking, yeah. Right, is it my turn? It is your turn, yes. Uh, and you move the train? Yes. Uh... Yes, I did. Okay. I, how much stamina do I have left? Uh, you have three? Uh, yes. All right. I am going to... Um, I don't know. I guess I will... And you're in the dining car right here. What's the action of the dining car, if there is one? Uh, move uh, one of your action tokens. So you could move it somewhere else. So then you could do. Could I move? Could I move one from the lower bar to the upper bar? So I've spent an extra one. I think. Yes, I think you. Because that's an ability that one of the characters has. I know that. Mm -hmm. So I will do that. I will spend an action token. Uh, just put it on posse, I guess. All right. Which means, I mean, it just means that when I rest, I can get a stronger rest next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will do an action. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I will do trailblazing, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, that's remove... a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll remove an essence from a uh, portal on a current landscape. We are still uh, yeah. overlapping here, so we can remove this one, which is great. Goes back in to the pile. Because if do this that. activates we remove it from the game which is bad news and then you may return one discarded uh train speed token to the bag to remove another essence from this portal mm, no 
Okay. Uh, I won't be doing that, I don't think. What speed is the train going at? Uh, two. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, because one of the always... abilities of the... Sorry. Because one of the abilities of the monster is that it, it decreases the train speed, and if the train stops, we die, so... Yeah. And uh, we can also adjust it ourselves by using the ability if we come all the way up to the locomotive. I, well... I'd like to move into a train car that's got uh, calm, happy, or angry people in. Have I? Am I? I am I in a train car currently? You are calm? currently in a train car with a calm, a happy, and an insane. But if you move into the salon, you'll be with two happy and a calm. I'm actually going to move back to to where the vampire is. Okay, we're in the same car. Because that means that if monsters come, I can push off with my next act mm, with their next turn yeah. and uh, get rid of one straight away that's what i'm gonna do okay so that's me i should be on very little stamina right now yes you have one left all right i've moved the train so i'm resting next turn maybe oh, yeah. doing one that's so just say now i think i might rest as well um but we'll see what comes out here okay event token <gasps> vampire all right so now we, re we uh, deal with all of this. So we deal with it from top to bottom. So first we resolve uh, portals with essence on them that have text. There is one right now and it says remove one essence from the game. Which Not is bad. Great. Yeah, because if all of them are removed from the game, we lose. Uh... Okay, then we do the vampire. So we come up here to the vampire board. The vampire is here. He does the weaker version because the curtains are open. So in the car, he's got an angry passenger and a calm passenger. So we go and we find, okay, the first passenger that comes up is a calm passenger. So he will do- They become panicked. He be they become panicked because they see a vampire. Okay, and then he moves. And he moves based on, there's a little arrow on this um, token. You can't really see it, but it's pointing this way. So he will actually move, I believe, one over here. Because he's always looking for victims. So he's now there. And the more people he kills, the more times he feeds, the stronger he gets, essentially. Because there's tokens on there yeah. which we take off, which power him up. Yeah, as he kills, yeah, exactly. And so then he starts killing more because all those skull symbols are you dead so if there's a wounded passenger in his car that's bad because he will just kill them no matter what um uh okay so that's the vampire now we resolve a passenger event so we're going to flip this card over and see what it says i think probably it's probably terrible it's probably bad it's probably like people running around losing their minds scuffle what did i say someone's um, getting injured in each car with two or more angry passengers only the salon, which is where the vampire is. Oh no, we're gonna have to do some work here. Um, the angry passengers become wounded, which is bad yeah. because the vampire will Vampire's kill them. there. Okay, so they become wounded. I love that the happy people just stay happy though. Everyone else is just happy and calm. They're like, wow, that was entertaining. Then in each car with one or more angry, all suspects move out of those cars. Okay, this is us. We're not suspects. No, no. So just the no, yeah, just the no. end then yeah. So just here, she's going to go. I guess up into the oh, they're going this way based on the air. So she goes up into the locomotive with this insane person. She runs away from that angry person. She's like, yeah, I don't want to be around you. And now monsters so the blue monster is the big one all blue monsters on the board would attack but matthew got rid of them all which is amazing then one red monster the one closest to the front would attack but matthew got rid of them all and then green monsters will spawn so green monster will spawn from this portal which means it comes to this car uh but we also spawn everything that's in the limbo and then limbo will come back out and it will go to, I think, the back. It goes right to the back. So we have two monsters at the last car, and then one here, uh, and then one vampire. I want to be able to show y'all. OK. 
kind of what those look like. Oh, if they were closer to the front, you'd get such a better view. The angle's not quite right, but man, I can see the vampire peeking through. It's pretty cool. Honestly, that could have been so much worse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good man. Great job dealing with those monsters, Matthew. That, you're killing it. That's so good. And we moved the train one, which reveals a new landscape tile, yeah. I think. Uh... Shoot, I need to pay attention to if I've done it already. Because I feel like I've been doing it. I should make sure it's the last thing I do. Yeah, it should be the very last thing you do. What happens if two if two monsters are banished? A banished monster goes to the limbo. And a pushed monster that gets pushed left behind is the only way to get rid of them forever. So they just if two, if you banish two monsters, they just go to the limbo. I think. Whoa. So this takes us, we get insane momentum. It says, move the train mini one space forward for each insane passenger in the Orient Express. That's what happens when that, um, which honestly, uh, isn't I'd love terrible to move, for us. I'd love to have moved six or something, you know? Because we're well on our way to figuring this out. So we might actually use that to get us out of here if we feel like we're like good on our cultist situation. How do we use that? Uh, that will trigger whenever the portal with text event happens, um, if there's essence on it. And I just need to check how much essence I put on it right now, because I do put essence on it and I can't remember how much, and I just need to find um, my thing. Uh, so survive very quickly. Um, boop, 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 boop. Boo, boo, do, 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 do. When tree moves new landscape, uh, place essence on portals there. Um, place one essence token from the pool on each portal on the revealed landscape. In addition, take the number of essence tokens equal to the number of insane passengers and place them, dividing them evenly as possible. So we have three insane passengers, so four essence tokens are going to go on there. Okay. Well, go. All right. Uh, it's me. I think I'm going to rest for my main action, even though I'll only get to upgrade one thing. Um, I only have two stamina left. Or maybe I'll close. You know what? Actually, I'm going to basic action. I'm going to use one stamina, and I'm going to close these curtains, just in case we can't get rid of those guys. Um... And then I will uh, choose one, reveal one of that. I think I'm going to, do you mind? What What do you think about using um, Go for it. one of our cult tokens to prepare a spell? Go for it. So I'm going to put this in the bag, and when this pulls out, we'll be able to um, use the spell that we have in our spell book. Um, so that's my last stamina. So now I will rest. So I get five stamina back. So I go back up to five. Uh, I can use my uh, lucid skill, which I'm, I'm not going to at the moment. Uh, I can learn a new skill or upgrade. Um, yeah, for every two chevrons, every chevron symbol that you have. So just one, I guess, because you only got three. Yeah, I only that. have the one here, so I'm only going to get to upgrade one, but Matthew's going to get to do two. Upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade. Uh, I'll think about, oh, geez. Ooh, I'm going to do pay them up because I can basically give people money to um oh Okay, what do you think? I can do pay them up. I can basically give people money to make any angry, panicked or calm passenger happy. I like that. 
Or I can upgrade my freshest buzz, which means I can draw a conversation token for everyone in the car, not just calm and happy people. And then unique ones, I can flip a... Whatever. What, what do you think? Pick Just pick one. I don't mind. I don't want to tell you which to do. Let's do freshest buzz, just because it's going to help us potentially with uh, our cultist situation, which we definitely want to figure out. So I'm gonna upgrade that one. Um, great, everything goes back. That's my turn. The train moves forward and I draw, oh, all of these discard. And I draw an event. And it is another passenger event that goes in slot three. Okay, Matthew. Okay, I have well. Hmm. I would love an updated version of my board if you get transporter oh, when yes. I after this after this. Yes, but I will send you a that, new picture um, once you have uh, once you've upgraded your skills. Uh, yeah. Chat gonna... says classic rich person throwing money at people to make their problems go away. Exactly. I'm a Am millionaire still... boy. I'm still in the first car, right? Yeah, we both are actually. Yeah, we're both. Yeah, I'll here. banish something straight away. All right. Uh, so that's with your last stamina. Mm hmm. Uh, and then I'll rest. Would you like to banish green or blue? Green. All right. These creepy old guys. And then resting. Uh, so you restore six. So you have six um, back. All your things come back. So you get to upgrade. You can use your. Uh, lucid skill, remove a monster from limbo, but we don't have any. So, upgrade one of your new skills, or upgrade one of your skills. Isn't the monster I just skill. banished in limbo, Paula? Oh, flippity flop. Yes, it is. Thank you. Absolutely. It was a banish, not a push. So, would you so like to do that? Yeah, so I'll banish that monster. You'll only be able to upgrade one skill. That's though. brilliant. Okay. That's fine. Right. So, now he's gone. So, now upgrade gonna... one thing. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade my talk. No, I'm going to upgrade my um, bounty hunt. Okay. So that means Matthew can now push plus one all monsters of a chosen color in his car. For each monster that falls behind, remove one essence from a portal of its color. So that's pretty great. Let me send Matthew an update of what his board looks like. Um. Uh, am I able to, as well, at the end of my turn, Tokyo Drift? Tokyo Drift. <laughs> so I'm um, new in town, but I am right. already the master of Tokyo Drifting in I... a matter of two or three montages, frankly. Yeah, I think that you can Tokyo Drift. And I really feel like if I Tokyo Drift enough, it's going to solve all my problems. Yeah, and probably will. Um, so you still have a basic action to do. So you can still you can spend a stamina now to do a basic action if you'd like. I'm waiting for this picture to arrive. Should be uh... sending. It's a Fast and Furious Matthew. It's more of a Miskatonic Drift, really, says chat. That's right. Uh, for my last basic action, there's no characters in my cart that have a item to interact with, correct? No, it's just you and me in there. All right, I will but move. You know what you can no. do? You could use the cart, the car action, which is if there are no suspects, you can reveal a ticket. I'll do that then. That sounds great. All right, we want to look at the medium's ticket, the psychologist's ticket, or the maestro's ticket. Uh, medium. All right. She is going to Sophia. You've been to Sophia. I have. I've been to um, Istanbul as well. All right. There's one more Constantinople and one Milan out there. So that, so she's not a cultist then? Oh, she could still be, I suppose. If she has four purples. Uh, so that's the only I'm trying to shortcut this tricky. a lot, but it's not actually, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit harder. You have to start... I think we need to start revealing more blue tokens, and then we'll have a better idea. Um, I think Sophia is probably the most underrated European city out there. It sounds cool. If you want to see Matthews in Sophia, uh, you can check out his travel vlog. 
and actually hmm. click that link uh, that Nightbot just put in chat. Click on that and you'll <laughs> find it. That was good timing. Uh, okay, I think that's you, right? That's me. That was a good turn. Uh, so moving forward one, next turn we will um, reveal this landscape. <sighs> okay, so I, geez, all right. I think I'm gonna entourage and push. Did you this pull tokens? Turn. Oh, bleh. no, I didn't. Like a silly, like a silly head. Oh, the train speeds up, and we pull another token. The train is now going three, which is potentially a little scary, actually. All right, one more. Okay, now we get. Uh, this will do a, a crazy train uh, ritual when that triggers. We have two events out on our event board and one token left in the bag. Wait, which means it's your... Oh, it means it's the spell. Which means it's the spell. Yeah. Okay. What do you do? Okay. Uh... <laughs> I was thinking about pushing this monster. Do it. Uh, though you're very good at that, so maybe I should move and like talk to some people. I feel like that would be make more sense. Uh, so let's spend one to go into the salon because it's very full of people, and I might try and get these wounded people out of here if I can. Uh, so I've done a move up to two with some stamina. Then I'm going to freshest buzz. I'm going to draw a conversation token for each person in the car. That's the event bag for each person in the car. And for every successful token that is unique, I can reveal a clue of that type. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six tokens I can pull. So hope for a lot of successes. One. Two. We can hope for anything we want, Paula, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> Three. Here's one. Are you crazy? Yeah, Four. one. No. <clears throat> Five. There's two. Six. Hey! We actually got three things we can reveal. <coughs> okay. So we have a blue token, a ticket, and something about a first class. So I am going to reveal... That's loads. Let's focus in on the maestra, I think. We could do all of these about her and just see what she has. And I think that could yeah. be good. How do you feel about that? Yeah, go for it. Or at least do as many for her as we need to do. Yeah. So I'm going to reveal her ticket. She has Milan, which means... Okay, so here's something that can happen. Every ticket is revealed. And so because we know all that's left is one more brown Constantinople ticket... He has it, the psychologist. We can just reveal it because yeah, because it's, it's no known. information. So we're just gonna flip that over. That's what you're allowed to do. All right. Now I would like to find out her little attribute here. So yeah, let's flip that. It's a brass doorknob. Interesting. So we only need to reveal one more thing for her. Right? Well, no, we don't have to reveal anything else. She can't be a cultist. She cannot be a cultist. So we're confident that she is not a cultist. Because, because she doesn't have four things left to reveal. She's not going to Constantinople. Purple. She doesn't have the fairs. So she doesn't have a goblet because all the goblets have been revealed, we think. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, because our red fez guy had both of them. There were only two. So she cannot be a cultist. No. She has to be innocent. Okay. Like a, just a regular she just job. just ignore me. All right. She has a brass doorknob. So we get to look up this item and... Um, have this out. Oh, wait, we have to actively ask her about it, don't we? Yes. So we can't just immediately talk about it, but that's there. One of us can interact with her. You can do that now if you want it as your action. One of your regular actions. Basic actions. We have actions. one last thing to reveal. And oh, yeah, I think yeah. I will. So here's the question, Matthew. Uh, first class passenger is the thing we have left to do. Um, so we could reveal a desire of hers to get a quest to try and get something good because we know it's safe to fulfill her request, her, her quest, or we can reveal someone else's desire. It's up to you. Whatever. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, 
I think it could be good to have possibly a quest to try there and do. So let's reveal her uh, one of her desires. It could be Spellbook. incredibly for oh. it could be the incredibly fortuitous thing that we just happen to it's already fulfilled. You know, you never know. This is cool. Okay, so there's only one purple desire left on the board because the only purple one that's left is the other spellbook desire. Okay. So that's something to think about with our four desire things. Um, I feel like we're very close to solving who is and who isn't a cultist. I think, yeah, we are doing a really good job of, of revealing this stuff. So We just have to survive long enough to get yeah. to the end of the line. Yeah. Uh, and we may, everyone, as we play, uh, uh, because this is a, a preview of the game, we may uh, say, hey, we're going to play up into, you know, slot, you know, this is our stopping point. We may not play all the way through to the end here, depending on the speed at which the train moves. We are at hour moves. two. We are at hour two of the stream. So, we are. Um, let's see, what is her quest? It is a spell book. Here we go. Dun, 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 she desires dun, dun. a grimoire. So, if we get a grimoire item... Who doesn't? I know, right? Then her quest will be fulfilled. Okay, and then for my last action, I will oh, I have to be in the car with her to interact with yeah. her. So I can't, she is, I don't have enough basic actions left to uh, ask her about her brass doorknob yet. You can move up to, move up to her though. Uh, but I could move up to her. You're right. Um... I'm very worried about these wounded passengers, but... Oh, screw, screw. Hopefully we'll have time to deal with it. Okay, I will spend one more stamina, and I'm going to move one, two, so that next turn, hopefully I can talk to her. Okay, then we pull our last deal out, which is our spell, which means this spell up here is ready to go. Uh, so at any time we can use as a basic action. This How do we spell, show that? How do we denote that? We'll spend this token and a, and a sanity. So you put a token back on there to show yeah. that. So okay. in the updated components version of this updated rule set, mm -hmm. these will look like these with a spell book token on it. So I'm just using the... Um, Got you. The occult token as a as a replacement for what will actually be these with a little spellbook image. I see. Um, so we'll just put that there to know we spent it. It's on there. Now let's just choose a suspect in our car and reveal uh, one of their clues. So that's something we can do, but will cost us sanity because it's dangerous to uh, mess around with magic. Okay. Then... Do we know if those are blue backgrounds or purple background or green backgrounds? Do those we pull another are chit? Green background. So that's the only thing we pull. I'm fairly certain. Let me double check because that is a great question. I'm pretty sure they are green backgrounds, which means uh, you don't pull another. But I'm gonna look. Oh wait, actually, Matthew, good call. I think they're actually blue. I'm just looking at the component list. They are blue, so we do pull another chit, which means this is empty. So everything, including a bunch of uh, extra tokens we set up at the beginning of the game, goes in the bag. And now we have, oh, that's awesome. This means, so this covers up our little ritual thing, and that means when this activates, the ritual won't actually happen. That is great. So if we can trigger the that now, that would be really good. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I move the train forward, which means that this new landscape reveals. On reveal, spawn red, green, blue by the middle car. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess this counts. One, two, three. So that's the sanctuary. Ew! That's horrible. That's three, but the curtains are closed. So that's something. Okay, that's bad. That is bad. 
Uh, all right. Uh, Matthew, what would you like to do? Okay. I will. Um, I can't even get there, actually. I can't move all the way there. I think I will... You'd have to use two basic moves, yeah, to to get there. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah? Yeah. So that's two stamina in your one, two, one into the sanctuary. Frustratingly, actually, it'd be better if you pushed that blue monster yeah. with a push zero to move it back to the last cart. Then mm -hmm. I could use my ability to get rid of both of them. Yeah, do you want to wait? And we can do that next that might be smarter, but it's no guarantee that that's going There's to be the no configuration guarantee. of the of, yeah. of them. Because we no, I'll leave it. I'll event. leave it like this. I'll okay. leave it like this. Because there's no guarantee that these monsters are going to be in this configuration when we no. get time when it comes around to actually doing that. Uh, for my last turn, though, I guess I will just uh, pushing them feels not as great now. You can spend extra stamina with your brawl. I, I mean, it puts you closer to needing to rest again, but. Oh, I have actually a put. My plus is plus plus one actually, so it will just get rid of it. So I'll bounty hunt. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, because the train is three. Matthew, bounty hunt. Push uh, all monsters of a chosen color in your car. For each one that falls behind, remove an essence from a portal of its color. We don't actually have any right now, so. So. Yeah. So regardless, which monster do you reckon's worse? Oh boy. Um. I don't want to... I'm happy with... The one that slows the train down is pretty safe at the moment because we're going at three. The faster we go, the better, honestly, because it means pushing gets rid of monsters easier. Yeah, I think either blue or red should be gotten rid of. Let's get rid of red. Because they'll attack even if the curtains are closed. It's just the green one that you get protection. Let's get rid of red then. Okay, so this pushes... Boop, boop, boop. Out of the train. All right. Uh, then we'll pull an event... And we'll move the train forward one. Oh boy! Wow, what a boom! All right, so we got a no vampire activation. Three things are here. Oh, so this uh, is going to be the best activation of the game. This That's is not bad. We are getting some monster attacks though. I mean, it's bad, but it's not as bad as yeah. it could be. So we get all the greens are going to move. So the uh, green monster all gonna is going to attack. Yeah, um, that's what they're going to activate. So events. Yes. Yes. So sorry, sorry. Yes. So. Let me bring this where we can see it a little better. Okay, so green, uh, if it's by a train car with people, yes. If the curtains are open, no. So instead, if it's, um, it says if the curtains are open, it will take a panicked uh, passenger and it will kill, basically. Uh, and then it will move and it will attack, but it is not by, uh, I think it does nothing this monster moves and then it will attack there i think what it does is it skips the first one because the curtains are closed and then it will move where i believe the curtains are we haven't messed with those curtains but they moved uh but i have a thing that shows me how they started that's the second class sleeping car these are closed we did not open them yeah because it's a sleeping car so of course they're closed so that's closed, uh, and then it will, it would uh, panic anyone there, and I think it does that whether they're open or closed because it's making like noises and stuff out there. So it won't panic a wounded person, but it will panic the calm person. So they panic. Okay. Could if it was by the close. locomotive, it would make us all lose sanity, which is bad. Okay, then this one blue will activate, which isn't amazing. Okay, it is by a car with people. We both lose a sanity. Okay, well, we've not lost any sanity this whole game yet, yeah. so that's pretty good. Yeah, so we both lose a sanity. If we ever lose all our sanity, of course, everyone... We lose. We lose, because we basically go catatonic. We cannot deal with what's happening anymore. Then, uh, oh boy, everyone becomes insane, and then they move. So our passengers, we have it becomes two. insane. Yeah, these both these passengers. One was already insane, but now the other That's one is. That's bad. It is not good. Yeah, it's really bad. Uh, and then they move up one. So now they're both in second class sleeping. These things are gnarly too. Like, look how they like 
Ugh, they're so lit. Okay. And then a red monster will spawn back here with the blue monster that's back there. But only one blue monster activates here, so. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, sorry. Thank you for catching chat caught that I still had a conversation token on the board. Uh, all right. Vampire does not activate because it has an X on it. Thank goodness, because these people would have died. This passenger thing is probably going to be terrible Passengers, because it's going it's yeah. to be all the insane people die or something like that. <laughs> Growing <laughs> anger. In each car with one or more angry passenger spread the anger to other yeah. people all calm or happy people become angry so they're panicked they're calm so they're now angry oh no i feel like the makeup of the train has got a lot worse in the last <sighs> couple of turns not good move each suspect once second class suspects go toward the forgan the luggage car and first class suspects go toward the salon so second class is our medium and our psychologist so they go toward she go oh, she goes into here oh no well, if you can get closer to that person that you're trying to get near that would actually not be too terrible yeah and he goes into here and then everyone else moves toward the salon well she's actually moved away from me now yeah but that's okay here and he goes here and she goes Okay, okay, we just have a lot of angry people. Yay. Yeah, Chad says, uh, the true Call of Cthulhu experience just lose all the sanity. Okay, we've got, I'll say about 10 more minutes. We'll see what we can do and then we'll, yeah. I think we'll say that was a, a good, uh, we'll make guesses maybe on our cultists. Uh, so that'll be, have been a good, uh, I think, overview of how this game works without showing you everything. <laughs> okay, so this top one, so the ritual also uh, doesn't happen because it's X'd out. Now this top one discards, but the one that was underneath it is still there. Okay. <sighs> then the train moves. All right. So I think it's me, right? Yeah. Okay. I am going to. Gosh. I oh, thank like you so much for those uh, <gasps> gift subs. Oh my goodness! Thank you, Bob the Scudder, for gifting five subscriptions to the community. Appreciate you so much. Um, all right, let's talk to this lady. So I will use a basic action to move one. Yeah, who can trust anything Paul is doing without Fez on her own? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll have to see if I pull the story thing for this or if that will be left for you to discover. Uh, and then I'm going to interact with her for another stamina and ask her, hey, I noticed you got a doorknob. What's that about? You recognize the knob, but you're unable to pinpoint where from. Looking around for inspiration, you see another knob on the door, just like the one you hold in your hand. Flip the last most inactive skill plaque to its active side for future use. Oh, so we now get access to a special ability in the salon. We basically unlocked. Oh, this means that's so cool. So in the salon, any oh, uh, passenger in the salon who is angry or panicked can become calm. That's actually great. But us. I think they have to be in the salon. Yeah, that's still good. It's that's still a good very ability. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I still haven't done actually a main action. I'm, I kind of feel like I need to. Ugh. I feel like I need to rest. I have no stamina, but I also haven't don't have anything out. Um, well, just rest then. I could do. I could lose another sanity and do the spell. Do it. All right, I'm going to spend this token. I'm going to lose a sanity. Oh, no, that's not a main like... action. That's a basic action. I can't. Ugh. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Um, I will... I'm going to talk five. I'm going to let it. the money speak. Talk five with a happy passenger right there. Um, 
I ignore any panicked results that I pull. One, two, three, four, jeez Louise, five. <laughs> It's just unlikely. That's just statistically unlikely, I feel like. That's just really dumb. It's terrible. Why is my luck this way? Did you pick four bad ones? Yeah. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Cool. I know. That's the type of thing someone who's a traitor would do. Oh, come on. It's going to go terrible. Oh, come on! Oh, we have a match. I'm gonna keep going. You're absolutely a traitor. I know there aren't any traitors in this game, but you're a traitor. I am wearing this fez. I just want one more, one more match. Okay. I'm pushing it one more time. Oh, no, 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 I have regret. I have regrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what if we say I happen. didn't do that? What well, if you, I didn't do you it? can't, though, because you did do it, and it's alive on the internet. So looks like we uh, failed that, because Paula is, uh, is greedy. <clears throat> Why didn't you stop me? Because you're the master of your own destiny. You're so, the captain of your own ship. I don't get to find out about the ticket. We didn't care. We and know what's what all more, the tickets Paula, are anyway. you'll be a man, my son. <laughs> I might have mixed up two poems. Maybe. And then um, this person becomes angry. I've made them angry. Um, Back drawing is just a dice with extra steps. Let's be real. Yeah. Paul has batted it. It's just anything with luck. Uh, so that's that. I learned nothing. And my turn is done. So I'm going to draw an event and I'm going to move the train forward. Uh, and then Matthew will probably have another turn. And then that might be, we'll see how long that takes. That might be where we wrap up here this very exciting half played game <sighs> okay oh this is All something right. good that's been going quite well for us uh people calm down wait is this everyone or just one person i need to know go to the bottom what the tokens are mm -mm -mm. I think does it mean one person does it mean everybody there's no way it means everyone i can't find where it would say oh oh there's just no way in a million years it means everyone it's one. yeah of course it is one angry or panicked person becomes calm But what if I calm down the person I just made angry? Then it'll make your whole turn a wash. So let's do that. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> Did you uh, just mess the curtains? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, but I think they're okay now. Uh, cool. All right, Matthew. All right. Well, so help me as if my name isn't Bucky Burton. I'm going to, um... Hmm. I guess I will... I'll do a talk three. No, I'll do a brawl. I can still brawl. Where yeah, am you I? Sure can. Where am I on this train? You're right here in the sanctuary. Is there a monster outside my window? There sure is. Here, let me I'll push that son of gun. All right, he's doing brawl, y'all. Push three. You can spend up to six stamina for each one you spend. You can move them back an extra. If you spend one extra, if you spend one yeah. extra, they'll come off the train. I'll spend one extra, so I'll two stamina. Do that for two stamina. <sighs> Get rid of that. Get out of here. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'll do that. Um, then I will. Oh, we haven't got any items, have we? We have, uh, yes, the fiddle of Eric Kazan. Gather any number of anyone in the game, passengers, suspects, or players, from anywhere to your car. 
would that uh, i mean we obviously we're not going to play on but would that have benefited us in some way i think it could benefit to get these wounded people out of the car where the uh vampire is yeah i will do that i will i will call the wounded to me like i'm some type of saint and the wounded anyone else you want to move toward you anyone you'd like to be able to talk to or interact with or anything uh yeah i'd probably have wanted to have interacted with a character mm -hmm. so to save my legs i'd have probably just brought the, uh, a character in so whichever one would have made sense uh... the one third to, the one in the bottom row third in from the uh left the psychologist yeah yep and he'd say look i'm not that kind of doctor okay well well okay <laughs> and i'm like well so you surely you know something about it <laughs> And that's what I'll do for my turn. All right. Uh, so then we would move. Hold on. We'll pull an event. Oh, my gosh. That's great. That would be a... It, just, it's, it is great, Paula, but it means that there's a load of bad stuff. There's coming. a lot right. of bad stuff in there. And then this would move over one, which means a new landscape would flip over. Mind waves. Add essence to each portal adjacent to this portal. Guess what? That's well, oh, that's not on reveal. That's if it activates. But it gets one and then one for every insane passenger. So four. So it has five essence on it. We have not been dealing with essence. But these haven't been activating yet. So, yeah, we would. There's all kinds of things we haven't seen. Uh, we'd have a lot to survive here. Uh, luckily, no passengers are dead yet. But they could be any time. The vampire could activate. Uh... We haven't done any, we haven't revealed any of the quest situations, just for fun. Let's say we had done, I just want to show this bit off. Uh, let's say we had done the quest of our um, crime writer, who we're not sure if she's a cultist or not. She is. So, we do her quest. She's definitely a cultist. And we reveal all of her stuff, because we did her quest. She has a talking parrot, and... A weird tattoo. She's for sure a cultist because she's got four purple things. Yeah. So she. Yeah. So this would have been the bad. So if we'd have done bad. this, if we'd have done this, uh, and like just now, we would have had to have done the bad thing. Yes. Yeah. You fool! You willingly gave away the key to alter what is about to come. It is going to be raining fire, and I'm not going to be here for that. As they disappear, an echoing insult lingers with you. You fool! We remove them from the game. Place a token on the ritual. Return all events other than, uh, we basically would take our whole discard pile other than X's, put them back in the bag, so more bad things are in there. That's super bad, That'd right? That'd be really bad, yeah. <gasps> Whoa, if it was good, though, mm -hmm. we could have removed any chosen uh, passenger from any car from the game. This does not count as them dying. So you could be like, look, they're probably about to die. We're just taking them out of the game. And then we don't have to use a coffin. If Sounds like murder to cultist. me. So Sounds like a murder. Sounds like a murder. We know two cultists. We know one who is not a cultist. I wonder if there's no... Okay, so let me just quickly... She has a weird tattoo and a talking parrot. So what's left is... I'm gonna zoom in on that portion of the of the yes. board so I can see. How's that? Uh, okay. so we have one purple desire left, and everything else is just brown desires. Is there anyone else who could be a cultist based on? There's one purple yeah. desire left. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Because if there wasn't, we could rule out everyone basically. Well, and then there are. Four purple um, items, items left. left. So at the moment, anyone could still be a cultist. Anyone could still be a cultist. Let's just go off, just for fun, let's just go off our gut. Do we think the medium is a cultist? No. I don't think so either. Let's reveal. Okay. She has the other purple spell book. So, if both of these are pur purple desires, then she is a cultist. 
she's not. Okay, good job us. We guessed that correctly. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick C. Cambrian fossil. That I'm means that's the last dolls. purple desire, correct? Which means the no one else can be a cultist then, right? Uh, the only one who still could be is old Slide oh. Boots here because he has oh. four items. And if all four were purple. I trusted him from the start. Well, only three of them would have to be purple. I trusted him correct. from the start. And they could but, uh, but yeah, he's a dirty cultist. We're gonna we're gonna guess he's a, we say not a cultist. Okay, so if he's a cultist and we're guessing he is, then I guess we lose. I mean, if we kill him, he's not there it to defend matter. himself afterwards. And it doesn't right? matter if he was a cultist or not. All right. See, now I want him to be a cultist because we thought he was. This needs to be purple. Oh, this needs to be purple. Nope. Not. Oh, he's innocent. He is innocent. He's close. Because he had three purple. He's on the cusp. He was he's thinking about cusp. it. He, he's got a weird tattoo. He's thinking about it. He was like... he was, He's was. he been reading the literature, at least. You know? He's been thinking about it. Dabbling. Yep. He's been thinking about it. Everyone, that oh. was our... Uh, half playthrough here of Horror on the Orient Express board game. I hope that gives you an idea of how this game works, how it functions. You got to see just a little bit of all the things without having too much revealed to you. Uh, if you are interested in backing this game and you are watching on YouTube, there is a link in the description below can take you to the Kickstarter campaign. Go check it out. And if you are watching us live on Twitch right now, there is a link in chat that you can click on. A huge thank you to Chaosium for sponsoring this playthrough. We really appreciate you, especially because I emailed and was like, please, please sponsor because I'm really excited about this game and I'd really like to play it. Eee. You have been, I mean, legitimately, you have been talking about this game since you saw it. I think you saw it at a convention to start off with, perhaps, uh, did you? I think I like heard an announcement about it and then I saw it at an early prototype at Gen Con and I was like I have to know because I, I remember they just this. had one like little table right and yeah. they were just showing it off it was yeah, like a tiny little there, table but, I didn't yeah. know it was going to be there and yeah it was pretty yeah pretty cool so there you go uh thank and you and you could everyone. totally solo it couldn't you with just two yes, two people you can um so it is specifically like one to four players and I believe when you solo it, you could play it two-handed, but I think you can also play it uh, with just one um, investigator. But that is a little difficult because they're obviously built to do different things. So I think playing it two-handed solo uh, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, two-handed so, solo would be fine, I think. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I might solo uh, the rest of our game here to find out what happened. Well, no, I already know now because we looked at the the uh, people. Yeah, so. well, you could still find out if you survived the trip, That's essentially. <laughs> You still got to survive will. the journey. <laughs> all right. There's all kinds of things on that Kickstarter, so go check it out. And thank you so much for joining us here again. If you would like to watch us live, we stream board games as part of This Game Gets Dicey currently every Thursday over at twitch.tv slash Paula Deming. Come on over. We would love to see you live in the chat. And thank you so much for watching this YouTube upload. I don't know. Subscribe to the channel. Check out Matthew's travel vlogs at Yes Land Travel. And, um... We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone.